Hi, welcome to the Penguin Post newspaper by Coast. Today we are interviewing Carol Ward. She studies the evolution of apes and early hominids. That's so cool. Let's ask her some questions. Why do you study apes and hominins? I study apes and hominins, and I'll tell you, hominins means our early relatives. You're a hominin, I'm a hominin, we all are. So all of the people today and all of our fossil relatives we call hominins. And I'm interested in studying them because it's a story of us. Everybody wants to know, where did we come from? Why are we here? Why are we the way we are? Why do we think what we do? Why do we look the way we do? Why do we live the way that we do? It's a fascinating question and I love it. And it's a big puzzle and I get to have a job where I study, solve puzzles and learn about ourselves. What could be better? Were you interested in apes as a kid? You know, I was always interested in animals. My favorite toys were animals. I had little stuffed animals and horses and everything and I wanted to work with animals. So I was really interested in doing something with that. And then I somehow took a weird class in college. Someone told me you could take a class in cavemen and stuff, a class called anthropology. And I thought that sounded fun. And I learned that apes are our closest living relatives. And if we learn about their history, it tells you something about our shared history and where we came from. What is your favorite part of your job? Gosh, my favorite part of my job might be going out to places like you see behind me, which is my field site in Kenya, which is in Africa. I get to go out there with a big team of people and we walk around in the really hot sun, but we find new fossils. Every hill you go over, every valley you go through, there might be a new fossil, an animal, a piece of an animal or a plant no one has seen for millions of years. And I get to find that. It's just really exciting. We read that you work with surgeons and engineers. How do they help you? Oh, yeah, well, the study of us has a lot of things to tell us about how we are today. So we learned things by studying fossils that help people today. For example, I was working on a fossil human ancestor named Lucy, who lived three million years ago, and we have backbones from Lucy. And we wondered, why do they look like ours and not like other animals? What does that mean? And we looked at the shapes of those, those vertebrae, those little bones, and we thought, you know what? Those shapes are like our shapes. And if the bones weren't shaped like that, but we stood up right, we would have health problems. So I thought, you know what? Maybe this would tell us something about why people's back hurts today. I bet all of you guys, your moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas say, oh, my back is killing me. Well, it's because we stand up right. And so some things we learned about the past from Lucy can tell us about sometimes why things go wrong today. And that's pretty cool. Can you tell us about what, what is um, and 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 to my is and how do you find it interesting about it? You mean to my the fossil? And not me. And not and not anatomy. Anatomy. Anatomy is what our bodies are, all the parts that make up our bodies, the muscles and bones and nerves and everything. It's us. It's the things we're talking through right now. And so we want to understand how we're built. Why do we have why do we stand up on two feet? You guys did a great episode on that. We want to know why do we eat the way that we do? Why, why are humans weird? Have you ever noticed that we don't have hair over most of our bodies? Our faces are really short. We don't have a snout like your dog or your cat or your horse, right? We're built differently. We have hands that can do amazing things. And that's all part of our anatomy, part of our bodies. And that's what I study, how they got to be this way because that's part of who we are. You read that you do field work. What is hard about doing that? Oh, it's really hot. 
I, I go to Eastern Africa and Kenya. You can see the picture behind me. And it's beautiful, but it's a desert. And it's really hot. It takes a long time to get there. It takes two days for me to fly to Africa. It takes two days or three days for us to drive to these very, very remote locations. So it's far away from my family, which I miss when I'm there. And it takes a lot of money to get there. And it's really hot and hard, hard work. And so that makes it a big commitment. I have to go far away for a long time from the people that I love. And that's kind of hard. It's really fun, but it's hard. So sometimes some of the best things about my job are also some of the hard things. What does your day look like when you, you are out on the field? Oh, sure. Well, we, we camp. We have a big camp. We stay in a shady place because it's really hot. And I wake up in my tent before dark, maybe a little bit before six in the morning, get up and we go with a big team of about 25 people. We all have breakfast together. We have cooks that get up at four in the morning to make us delicious breakfast, sometimes fried like donut things, sometimes eggs, it's really good. Then we all pile in the vehicles as soon as the sun is up and we drive to these sites and we get out of the car, we plan where we're gonna go and we walk and we walk and we look at the ground and we walk some more and we look at the ground some more and we walk and we look and to find the fossils. So we do that all day, it gets hot. So at noon we come back, we have a nice lunch of rice and maybe some stew. We take a rest for two or three hours in the heat. Then we go back out to maybe pick up fossils we found or do some other exploring. Then we come back at night and we have a cup of tea. I worked in Kenya and Kenyans love drinking tea. So we have delicious tea and we shower. We have nice showers, um, we have a lovely camp. We have dinner together and we all go to sleep when it's dark because it's really a long day. And that's what it's like in the field, day in and day out. But every once in a while, you make that big discovery that makes it all worthwhile and it's really exciting. That was so cool. We learned a lot from you and thank you for your time. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. This is a lot of fun. Keep up the magazine. I love it.